Hello, my name is Joshua, and this is my Business Programming Concepts 2 Android Application Progress Report. So what I decided to do for my Android application project was I decided to make a virtual handheld console type thing. Uh, so you have your circle pad here, you have your buttons, and this will simulate the screen that you'd have on a handheld console. Um, the screen and the circle pad are both custom views that extend surface view. And then circle pad will have an on-touch listener to help us get input from it. This is just a prototype, not my final. Um, I'd like to do a lot more with it, get images for the image buttons. Um, I'd like to actually get a small game working in the screen view. Currently I just have a test thing, a test thread. And uh, I'd like to fine tune the circle pad to get it working more of to how I would uh, like it to be. I'd like it to be a bit smoother um, and maybe just a slightly different behavior. But right now it's going I think very well. This is what I have here. I'm running it on an emulator so things will be updating a bit more slowly than they normally would. But uh, this is my test screen. Uh, I have the X value for my circle pad and the Y value for my circle pad and the values for A and B will also be displayed. Currently they're at false because they're not being pressed, this being A, this being B. Um, I can press them and I'll hold down and it will remain true as I have it held down. And then I release and it goes back to false, same with B. And then also I can quick do a quick click and it will still give the true value for both of them. Um, one problem I've been having with this is if I'm holding on to the B button, I can't kind of slide my thumb over to the A button. Uh, currently, I don't see this as a large issue. It's something I'd like to work on, but it's not my highest priority. Over here is my circle pad. Um, I'll click on it, have it move about. I uh, really like how the circle pad turned out. It actually took quite a bit of coding, but it turned out really nice, I think. Still a lot of stuff I'd like to do with it, though. Um, notice, though, how the values, they go between 20 and negative 20. Um, this is because I have different behaviors I can set to my circle pad. It's on analog one right now which will give me these values of negative between negative 20 and 20. I can uh, set it to digital though and it will give me the values of negative 1, 0, and 1 only. Or um, I can set it up to analog 5. Analog 5 being the most sensitive where it will be uh, between negative 100 and 100. Another cool thing that I have is once I've captured the circle pad I can move up the screen here and stay wherever here and I can just kind of move around on the screen and it will follow even if I'm not on the circle pad view itself and the circle pad will stay in the circle pad view though. Um, if I then press up here without having it captured it won't capture and even if I'm in the circle pad view and I press, it still won't capture. I have to uh, be on the circle pad view in order for it to capture. Or the circle pad image itself, I should say. Um, it's really nice, though, how the circle pad and the buttons can act independently. And the buttons themselves can act independently. You just have to press them with two separate fingers, which... Um, as I said, is a bug I'd like to work out. Um, 
a little bug I'd like to work out with the circle pad is once you capture it here if you just move a little bit they'll kind of jump I want to try to get rid of that but that's also a uh, lower priority for me uh, I think my next priority will be to actually make a small game in the uh, screen thread so to like a small Tetris game just to really demonstrate how this can work um, and just to show you how cool this really is but uh, I have not gotten that done yet so I can't show it to you um, so let me just leave now and I'll go and start working on it see you later bye